I'm standing in front of the uh, transplanter that, that we developed here at Virginia Tech. We call it the subsurface tiller transplanter. Uh, many years ago, as, as I found out that no-till systems works, we uh, had to do it all by hand. Of course, that, that's fine for a small plot, but it was impossible for anything commercial. We set out then to find someone who would make it, and no one would, and eventually I started tinkering myself and eventually put together several models. It has two distinct components, the upfront subsurface tiller part and then the, the transplanter that trails behind. This here is the fertilizer coulter, and oftentimes you need an even wider coulter. This one's 20 inches. The residues sometimes are, are very, very thick, and so you have to slice them. But sometimes when, uh, when you get real high residues, it, it'll get caught up in this hub. And so the newer models we sell of the subsurface tiller transplanter come with a 24 inch coulter and even sometimes to give better soil loosening capacity we can put a wavy coulter also back there that's what the looks right here this is a fertilizer knife that's used to uh, to loosen the soil this particular one has uh, a wing on each side about an inch wide and this uh, as it works through the soil loosens it and in a uh, heavy soil or any compacted or rocky soil this soil loosening device is absolutely essential when we plant no-till organic potatoes we need a very large in-row area loosen and so we use a shank that's much more aggressive it has wings out here about four inches on each side and when that runs through the soil it will really loosen the soil you can put your hand down in it and it's just like a sand pile and that's, that's needed to, uh, to allow the potato to grow without uh, restriction. This is the uh, Holland 1600 model transplanter that has been uh, modified to uh, plant in high residue systems. This uh, double disc coulter up front is used to slice the residues and slice the soil. This is the, the shoe and inside the shoe we have a little uh, a ring that holds this the, the drip tube as it comes through. Um, these are the press wheels. This is not the, the, the press wheel that came with the planter. Normal press wheels have the pressure on the outside. We had to reverse that and so we made a very heavy duty press wheel with inside metal pressure here. That way when soil is loosened and opens you, you press it back with this press wheel. This is the a, a weight basket uh, and in tight situations you have to have extra weight for it to close the soil around the plant. The subsurface tiller also has the capacity to lay drip tubing. This is the uh, drip tubing reel that holds about 7,000 feet of, of drip tubing. This then goes down and goes through the transplanter.